Hey, what's up here? Danny Lightning with another CSR2 video. Here's another one for my CSR2 guide. This one's also geared towards brand new people. This is video number three. We're going to talk about which cars to buy first. Then we're going to talk about how to upgrade and tune your cars. So the very first thing you need is a tier one car. In the last video, we went over boss races. All right, these are the cars you can buy in the dealership to win the boss races. Now, after I show you the cars, cars, I'll explain to you why these are the ones to buy. First off, the Golf GTI. This is the very first car you should buy. Like I said, though, if you didn't buy this one, that's okay. You can always get it later. Um, but this is the best one you can buy in the store. When it comes to tier two car, the 718 Boxster S is the car that you want. Unfortunately, this one can only be bought with gold. So if you have the gold laying around, this is the only car I would actually spend my gold on in this game. But if you don't have the gold to buy the Boxster yet, you're going to buy the BMW M325i Coupe. All right, this will easily beat the tier two boss. This is a really nice car. All right, this might even beat the first Tempest boss as well. Um, the Mustang GT Premium is the first tier three car you should buy. The BMW M4 is also really good, but I use this one for the first boss race and the first Tempest boss race. And this car, without I didn't even have that many parts in this car, and it beat both of those bosses easily. So this was a great choice for me. The BMW M4 is also a really good choice, but I would go with this one personally. A lot of people will tell you to go with the M4. Now when it comes to your first tier 4 car, you want to get the GT or the 2015 GTR R35 Premium. All right, this is there's not very many tier 4 cars you can buy with a game cash, but this one is really really good to start off with. All right, so the next car you want to buy when you go up to tier 5 is the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, all right? This is a excellent tier 5 car for pretty much everything except for live racing. I don't find this to be a good live racing car, but it's great for everything else. Now, eventually, you're probably going to win some cars with, if you can get a three-star version of this, that's even better. But if you have to buy one with game cash, this is the one I would personally buy. Now, those are the first cars to buy if you're trying to beat the uh, first set of bosses. And I'm going to tell you why these specific cars. All right, you, can, you can buy cars and strip cars that you can get in the dealership. And every time you strip a car, it's going to give you fusion parts and possibly stage 6 parts. Now, tier 1 cars don't have stage 6 parts. They only have fusion parts. But you have to put fusions into a car and stage 6 parts in the car to make it fast enough to beat the bosses and do all the other stuff. All right? So you want to stick with brands that you can buy in the dealership and strip to get more parts because if say you get a brand that's not in the that you can't buy in the dealership, you're not going to have an easy time getting parts for that car, especially if you're new to the game. Now, as you play this game for a long time, long time, you're going to keep collecting stage 6 parts and fusion parts from different manufacturers. Don't worry too much about maxing your cars out though. Just worry about upgrading the cars that you actually need for specific things all right because most of my cars i've been playing for almost a year most of my cars aren't even close to being maxed out except for my t1 cars but i do have a lot of fusions and a lot of stage six parts in them i just don't have them maxed out yet and that's fine they they do exactly what i need them to do even when they're not completely maxed all right, but you want to make, but you do need to be able to get stage uh, fusion parts and stage six parts easily. So you want do want to stick with buying brands that you can buy and strip. And I just showed you the fastest cars that you can buy in the dealership. All right, so you can buy and strip all of those to get more parts for those cars. All right, so the next thing is going to be how to upgrade and tune your car. So let's look at a car that I don't have any upgrades on yet. Okay, the Civic 
Type R. This is a car that I won. I'll talk about the uh, about winning cars in a minute. That's going to be the last thing I talk about. But now we're going to show you how to actually upgrade a car. So if you go to this car, you're going to see something that says upgrade. And as you'll see right now, all right, I I am on the stock part. If I pay spend some game cash, I can upgrade the engine to a a stage one part. That's going to cost me some money, so okay, upgrade to that engine. Now, if I want to upgrade it to stage two, okay, I just upgraded that to stage two. Now it's a stage three upgrade, and I'm not going to worry about that. It's telling me that I'm going to have wheel spin because I've upgraded this, but you need to upgrade your tires as well to keep the wheel spin down, basically. Now, if I want to buy the stage four part for this car, all right, once I get to stage four, it's going to take some time for this part to be delivered. And if you hit deliver now, it's going to use, this one's going to use 45 gold. Well, I don't want to use my gold to deliver this. I'll wait the, uh, I'll wait the 44 minutes. All right, so it's the same thing for the rest of the parts. You get engine, turbo, intake, body, nitrous, okay. But once you've actually upgraded parts, you can put these, uh, you can put fusion parts into the car. You have green, purple, and blue. I should say green, blue, and purple. Green is the lowest number, the lowest tier. The blue is a little better, and the purple are the highest. All right, so you just click on this green thing. Since You'll see down here where it says engine. Now that these parts are upgraded, I can put fusions into this. And you'll see the little green thing here. That lets me know I've got green fusion parts I can put into the engine. So if I click on this little thing here, for 700 game cash, I can install this fusion part. Bam. All right, so once you get up to stage 5, you can upgrade these parts all the way up to stage 5. Stage 6 parts are not something you can buy. You have to win these. And like I said, this is something you'll collect a bunch of stage 6 parts for different cars as you play the game. So don't worry about it too much, you know. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much how you do this. Now once you've put your upgrades and your parts into a car, you have to tune it. So now I'm going to show you the proper way to tune a car. And I can't stress this enough. Do not get on YouTube and look for somebody else's tune. Because if you don't have the same exact stage 6 parts and fusion parts in your car that they do, that tune is not going to work for you. Every time you add a stage 6 part or a fusion part, you have to completely retune your car. You cannot use other people's tunes. Now, if their car is completely maxed out, it has all the stage 6 parts and all the fusion parts, you can go ahead and use their tune. But, if your car is not set up with the exact same parts as theirs, do not use somebody else's tune because that's not going to be the best tune for your car. So this is how you tune a car, okay? So you go to the little tune thing. And what you're going to look at up here, you'll see a little number that says plus 597. So this car is almost maxed out right now. I'm one stage six part away from maxing this car out. Now you're going to move these sliders. You're going to start with your nitrous slider. And you'll notice as I move this slider, this number up top changes. There it's going down. So I know I went the wrong way. So I want to move this slider until I get that number as high as possible. All right, so it's going up, going up, it's going up, that one's going up. And this particular car with the parts I have installed into it, the nitrous moved all the way to the right, gives me the highest Evo point number. All right, so if I move it down one notch, what happens? It just went down, so... I move it back up one notch and it goes up. All right, so now I know I've, I'm set correctly. So now I'm going to tune the transmission. Personally, I would go a couple notches at a time and go both ways. All right, this is going down. So it looks like I'm moving it the wrong way. So let's try and move it the other way. Oh, that number just went way up. So we're going to move it more. It's going up. It's going up. Up. It's going up. 1290, 
1300, 1308, 1309, 1311, and now it's going way down, so that means I missed the sweet spot. So I'm going to go one notch at a time from here. There we go. 1313. All right. So that's going to be the best the best tune for the parts I have installed on this car. Now we're going to move the tires. So that just went down. All right. So that's not good. You don't want to see that happen. So that went down. So it looks like the best tune is for the tires is the stock position with them right in the middle. All right, that's that's just for this particular car. On another car, it's going to be completely different. If you have the same car but you have don't have the same parts installed in yours, you might have end up with the tires here. You might end up with the tires here. You might end up with the tires here. So don't use my tune if you don't have the same exact parts installed. Like I said, I can't stress that enough. A lot of people go on the YouTube and they search for they search for uh, someone else's tune and they use it. And that is they're making their car a lot slower than it should be because they don't have the same parts installed as the other person. Okay, um trying to remember I know I said I was going to talk about something else okay now I remember what it was I wanted to talk about cars with and without stars all right when you'll probably be like why does some car some of these cars have three stars why does some have two yada 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 all right when you buy a car in the dealership it does not come with any stars so when you buy something from the dealership it is always going to show zero stars the cars that you win all right, when you win cars, those are the ones that come with stars. Or if you beat a boss to win their car, the boss car is going to have purple stars. Only boss cars have purple stars. Now, what does it mean when they have more stars? Now, if you look, if you click on this little thing down here, you can see this car can hold 110 fusion parts. All right, if you were to buy the car from the dealership that does not have the stars it might only hold like a hundred fusion parts I actually don't remember how many it holds but the, the ones with stars actually hold more fusion parts which means once they're maxed out the cars with stars are going to be faster than the cars without stars so that's what I wanted to explain now anytime anybody wins one of these Ferrari Berlinettas all right, it's going to have three stars. You're never going to see one of these with more than three stars. Now, there are a couple different versions of this car. Um, let's see if we can find that really quick. There's another F12 Berlinetta something or the other. I actually don't even know how many stars that comes with. I probably should have just went ahead and clicked on Ferrari. Let me go back here and find Ferraris in the dealership so we can find that car easily. All right, so we've got the, we're looking for the F12 Berlinettas. There's a lot of Ferraris. All right, here's the one you buy in the dealership. It's going to cost you 1,000, 1,050,000 uh, game cash. You also have the F12 TDF. I'm not sure how many stars this one comes with. This looks like, okay, that shows this is a five-star car. But as you can see, you can't buy this. It says rare imports. That means you can only win this car by using your keys. Again, I made another video on key management, so you should watch that before you start spending your keys. But anyways, so if you see an F12 with five stars and one with three stars, or one with zero stars even, that's the difference. It's a different model. All right. So the actual F12 Berlinetta is either going to have zero stars if you buy it, or if you win it, it's going to have three stars. The F12 TDF is going to have five stars, but you can only win that car. You'll never see one of these with one, two, three, or four stars. They'll always have five. So that pretty much explains the stars and what the difference is. But the car with stars is always going to be a little faster when you completely max it out. 
So I think that pretty much sums up this video. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I hope this helps some people. So if you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, thanks. See ya.